Hello guys, welcome to the video. I hope you all are well. Today's build video guys is for the Monk class for patch 267 season 19. This is for the Sawuko set using Tempest Rush guys. Tempest Rush GR speeds. Now I know what you're going to say straight away, the Podge version is faster. That is very, very true. It is actually a faster version. But for those that just want to use Sawuko and just use that one set for the whole season, I've got a nice little GR speed build guys here for you man. So yeah, it hits like an absolute truck. Let's put as much movement speed as in there as possible and make it nice and easy and new be play friendly as well. Okay guys, so what is does the Samuka set do? Okay, two part set. Your damage taken is reduced by 50% while your sweeping wind is active, which is this skill here, and it's always on as well. As long as you're hitting targets, it automatically refreshes itself, which is great. Four set bonus. Every second sweeping wind spawns a decoy next to the to the last enemy you hit that taunts nearby enemies and explodes a thousand weapon damage for each stack of sweeping wings you have. But it does help a little bit, but the main damage comes from the six piece with Tempest Rush. So let's read that out. Lashing Tower Kick, Tempest Rush, and Wave Light have their damage increased by 1,500 for each stack of sweeping wind you have. We have 13 stacks of sweeping wind in this build, thanks to Vengeful Wind. So uh, a lot of damage comes from Tempest Rush, not from the 4 Beast. But it does help a little bit, which is kind of nice. Okay, guys, other set we're using, of course, is Captain Crimson as well. Love this set, man. Two set bonus, regen 6,000 life per second. Cooldown is reduced by 20%, which is a resource cost by 20%, which helps a hell of a lot when you cast in Tempest Rush, because it takes loads of spirit. Three set bonus, damage dealt is increased by your cooldown reduction, guys. The more cooldown you have, the more damage you do. And damage taken is reduced by your percentage of resource cost reduction. So there's Topaz and Helm, any reduced resource cost stuff on your gear, so we can actually, actually take less damage as well. So it's a great, great setup. It's very, very cool. Nice. Okay, guys, so the rest of the gear, man. One Kim Lao. What does one Kim Lao do? Hit him with Tempest Rush will activate Cyclone Strike, and both skills deal up to 600% damage increase, okay? So it's going to automatically cast this rune here. Cyclone Strike, Wall of Wind, okay? So it's going to pull all the mobs into one spot, and it's going to freeze all of them for 1.5 seconds. While they're frozen, it's going to proc your braces here, Caesar's Memento. Enemies take up to 800 increased damage from Tempest Rush for 5 seconds after you hit them with a blind freeze or stun. Okay, so it's automatic gonna proc this bonus for you and they're just gonna die super, super quick. Brilliant. Such a great item. Vengeful Wind for guys, like I said earlier, for the extra stacks. An extra 10 stacks on top. Brilliant. So yeah, guys, uh, using Sawuku legs, uh, chest, helm, gloves, and amulet, and uh, Captain Crimson's boots and belt. First legendary gem guys you want to use is Bane of the Trap for the damage increase. First uh, ring we're using is Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Every time we hit with uh, Tempest Rush, we get one second cooldown on our main abilities, mostly for Epiphany Desert Stride. You must keep this up all the time, otherwise you won't have your damage reduction or spirit generation, because it's extremely important to this build. Brim. Okay, guys, next ring is the Convention of Elements. Okay, so basically once we hit our cold cycle here, we're going to do an enormous amount of damage to our targets. Next gem we're going to use is Tagok as well, man. So as you're channeling Tempest Rush, you get Tagok stacks that gives you more damage and more armor. It's brilliant. It's always up because you never be stopping at all. Such a great, great gem. Okay, guys, in the amulet, we are actually using the Reef of Lightning, okay? Because this is a GR speed build, just for low B speeds and stuff. Uh, Reef of Lightning gives us an extra 25% movement speed, which is absolutely fantastic. Loads of little lightning bolts zap out as well. As they hit breakables, you get dimensional speed on top as well, which is sweet. If you're, going, if you're doing GRs and the Rift Guardian's die, taking too long to die, then you can switch out, of course, Bane of the Stricken, but you will lose 25% movement speed. So it's up to you. Right, so on the shoulders, guys, we're using Mentor Channeling as well. While Channeling Whirlwind, Rapid Fire Strafe, Tempest Rush, you get up to 25% increased damage and damage reduction as well. My ones are really bad. <laughs> it's only a 20%er right now, man. But even with this low B speeds, man, absolutely shrekking it. It's great. Brace you guys, this is Sears Memento, of course, with extra damage increase as well. Lovely. Okay, so uh, let's go to the queue. Okay, guys, in the cube, we are using balance. Okay, balance. The damage of Tempest Rush is increased by 600%, and when your Tempest Rush cr uh, hits three or few enemies, it gets 100% critical chance as well. Brim. Okay, guys, what's a just speed build without Nemesis Braces, man? You've got to have Nemesis Braces so you can spawn more elites of Shrines and Pines for more progress. And then last but not least, guys, of course, Roaring Grandeur to achieve six piece bonus on Samuko and three piece bonus on Captain Crimson's. Nice. Okay, so let's show the skills. Okay, guys, so Cyclone Strike, Wall of Wind, cast automatically here by one Kim Lao. That freezes all your enemies and it will proc your Bracer. 
brilliant absolutely love that skill so good auto grouping so cool tempest rush guys flurry okay guys so tempest rush flurry man you can go faster in this build if you go over to tower wind which gives you an extra 25 percent movement speed which is really really nice obviously you know that's that's you know, a very, very nice run to you. It does give you nice movement speed. But, if you're doing GRs where you're not one shot in elite packs, etc, etc. I did a lot of testing between Tailwind and Flurry. I always end up going back to Flurry. Because with Flurry, you can just charge up stacks. Okay, if we read this out here. After you stop chaining Tempest Rush, you cause an icy blast to all enemies within 15 yards. The damage of the explosion is increased by 90% of weapon damage while cold while channeling. So as you're channeling, you get these snacks here. See the snacks here? Temperature rush snacks. It goes up to a hundred stacks. Okay? A hundred stacks. And then when you release, it's gonna it's gonna pop and just destroy everything in its path. So you can literally just run into elites. They're also blinded by this here. So it also throws them by this here. It procs your braces. Then you just let go right click and they just insta kill. Okay? So um it's up to you, man. It depends what sort of speed you want to do. If you're doing really low B speeds where everything's getting one shot straight away, then obviously Tailwind will be helping you out better. If you just do it slightly deeper GRs, and you just want to one shot packs immediately, the Flurry is fantastic. Okay, but during this video clip we've got coming up in a sec, I'm actually using, personally, I prefer Flurry, but like I said, if you do really low B stuff where you don't need the extra damage, then just pop on Tailwind, you can go even faster. Such a cool being there, so much damage. Okay, guys, Mental Salvation, uh, Wind Through the Reeds. Basically, this gives you an all-resistance buff and an extra 10% movement speed. Remember, don't spam this, okay? Just cast it once, you know it's active, well, it's got a border. But if you do recast it, you get an extra um, all-resistance buff, I believe. Yeah, extra 20% on top, but to me, you don't need it, because it's such low GR. So yeah, movement speed and all res, guys, can't go wrong. Beautiful. Okay, next one. Uh, Dashing Strike, Way of the Fallen Star. Okay, Dashing Strike is absolutely fantastic for speeds. It's so, so good. Gain 20% increased movement speed for 4 seconds after using Dashing Strike. Okay, let's just go bosh. And you get this little buff here. That's the momentum buff there, but as you can see, look, you just get... It's on a really short cooldown as well. And it just gives you so much, so much movement speed. Just getting to, you know, as you, you know, with any GR speed build, you want to get to the leap pack as fast as possible. So that's your strike is fantastic. So we don't need blind anymore to proc the braces because we're using the uh, cycle stroke wall wind here. Awesome. It's basically movement speed, basic. Nice. Okay, guys, sweeping wind in a storm. Okay, as long as you have your vortex is at, is at three or more stacks, you gain eight spirit per second. Okay, so we get 13 stacks on this particular setup. So, um, yeah, spirit regen, key to the build. Fantastic. Ethne Desert Strike, guys. So, uh, this is our main skill here that gives us a lot of our spirit regeneration 20 regen and 50% uh, damage reduction. You must keep this up. Okay, you must have the correct amount of cooldown in your gear. And, um, as soon as it's up, just hit it straight away. But you should be fine, though, because Cyclone Strike and, um, you know, you're going to be absolutely fine. You're going to be dragging loads of mobs in Cyclone Strike, and they're all going to be grouped up. Obsidian Marine Zone, it's going to proc every time you hit that massive group to mob, so you should be absolutely fine for your cooldowns. Nice. Okay, guys, for passes, Relentless Assault. Gain 20% increased damage to enemies that are blind, frozen, or stunned. So we're freezing with, sorry, uh, sorry not Cyclone Strike. Yeah, Cyclone Strike command. So just procking extra damage bonus straight away. Just make some pop straight away. Beacon the Yatar helps with cooldowns. Momentum. Gain, uh, after the moving 25 yards, increase your damage by 20% for 6 seconds. This just helps you kill the trash along the go. And then last one of these guys is Fleet Footed. Increase movement speed by 10%. If you're on hardcore, obviously you need a self res. Okay, so just change Fleet Footed over to self rev near death experience nice okay guys so uh let's go do a run uh, i've got some footage here this is gr80 no paragon added no walks basically the 16 character we're playing right here here we go okay guys nice and easy first thing you need to do is hit your ethylene desert shroud that's the first thing you want to do after that cast sweeping wind okay with sweeping wind it will stay refreshed permanently but as, as you're hitting targets and after that you just use dash and strike to uh, teleport around the map to get to big density piles or elite packs, things like that. And, uh, oh wow, <laughs> it's correct. And you can only cast Mantra of Salvation once. If you keep spamming this, it's going to use all your spirit. Okay, it's going to use your spirit all the time. Okay, so it's really, really easy. So you literally just hold down right click. Uh, Psycho Strength's automatically cast for you by one Kim Blair. You can see all the mobs are just being dragged in. As soon as they get dragged in, they're frozen. As soon as they're frozen, you let go right click, flurry explodes, and everything would die around you within uh, 15 yards. Personally, I think they should increase it about to 20, 25 personally. It's a bit small, but it's good. Also, guys, this build is actually an area damage build as well. Just bang. 
So this is a GI-80 right now, just doing a little quick speed. Unoptimized gear, no wargs, no main stat paragon added, gem levels are super low as well, just 101 trapped, an 81 take, a reef of lightning that only needs to be level 25 as well, so. You can absolutely just blast, Ray. Go, 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 go! So yeah, it's really easy. Once you see an elite pack, just teleport towards it. Once it's frozen from your uh, automatically casted cycle strike, right? Wall of Wind, you just let go right click and it just die. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to vary from your know, person's gear to gear, but I'll record this at base level, you know, with no season buff either. There's no season buff. Obviously, with season buff right now, there'll be all sorts of chaos uh, going off as well. So, done this run this quick already. And uh, bang, you know, it's, it's extremely quick, but it's extremely easy to play. Like, it's so, so easy to play. One main thing you must do, guys, is must have the correct amount of resource cost reduction. In the description of this video, there is a stat guide for the best rolls of every piece of gear. But right now, I'm running uh, several like resource cost reduction. Uh, spirit reduction. I'm right now, I've got 52.01%, and, and I find that's enough. So if you've run out of spirit, you know, you can use your Templar to uh, put Inspire on. So it gives you an extra 10% spirit generated as well on top. But, you know, if you run out of power, that means you don't have the right gear rolls and uh, you must have a Topaz in your helm, for etc, etc, as well, to stay alive. And also, guys, put diamonds in your chest plate and legs as well for more auras. Quick massive of the gear there. And in Paragon, nothing in main snatch, a bit of it. All this stuff, stuff is camped out, of course. But, yeah, it's absolutely brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the Podge version is faster, but if you just want to use some Wukos, then, uh use this version, that's possibly what I'm going to do. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and share this video, Turn, click on that bell guys to be notified for the next video and I'll see you guys soon. Take care guys, enjoy the build, have fun in season 19 and have a merry merry Christmas man, if you're surprised, if you don't. <laughs> Cheers guys, thanks for watching man, a uh, big shout out to those uh, subs to me on Patreon, thank you guys so so much for the extra support. And there you go guys, at the end of the video, I will see you in the next one, have fun man.